There will be three laps remaining. Kyle Busch and Ben Rhodes out front. Who's going to win at Martinsville? Oh, great start for Kyle. Grabs the lead from Rhodes. Not Rhodes is going to play a little defense here. Make sure he gets in front of Brett Moffitt. Friesen trying to get a position from Chastain. Not going to happen. Chastain holding him off for the moment. Rhodes in second trying to chase down Kyle Busch. The white flag waving one to go. A half mile left. Todd Gillen bounced off the wall pretty hard coming off four. He's losing some a lot of ground. Still green right now. We've got it's one around in turn even. four, Yellow. and Yellow. the caution Yellow. is out. Back, and the checkers will wave for Kyle Busch under caution. Yeah, the white flag had already been displayed, so the next flag ends it. That happened to be the caution. Kyle Busch for the 54th time in his career. The winner in the Gander Outdoors Truck Series. You want to update those numbers we just saw, Vince? <laughs> put, him, put him another one on there. What a seven what a, wins and 11 starts this season. Kyle Busch, victory lane. At Martinsville. Well, let's see. That's uh, number 54 for the series. That's a personal three in a row for you. And. 202 for your career 201 well maybe tomorrow will be 202 <laughs> this racetrack though i was t talking to rudy made it look easy at times but you guys really thrashed on this truck all weekend long what really made the difference especially when you had to defend those guys on those late race restarts uh, i mean we yeah these guys worked really really hard this weekend we unloaded and I didn't like where we were at. We made wholesale changes to this thing all weekend long and just try to keep improving this send Cessna Beechcraft Tundra and, and make it faster. You know, um, certainly want to give thanks to TRD and Rowdy Manufacturing, um, all these guys. We just kept kept trying to make it turn the center better. I mean, that's where it's at at Martinsville. You got to be able to turn the center without getting too loose in and too loose off. And um, you know, there during the race, a couple times when I was underneath some guys, I'd get loose. I saw other guys getting loose in the same kind of aspect. But um, you know, we were we were able to get by them and get through them and and um, have enough tire there at the end to be able to hold them all off. Now, I'm not sure what they do with the grandfather clock, but your crew chief, Sander, pretty excited on my interview with him that uh, he'd like for that thing to go in his house somewhere. So who, who decides that? I do. Um, <laughs> he, um, yeah, this is his first win here at Martinsville. I've won here with, um, with two other crew chiefs, I think. So uh, it's pretty cool to get Rudy his first win at Martinsville. And but does he get the clock or no? Yeah, yeah. Fine. Okay, gotcha. He, he can have the clock. But, um, <laughs> you know, I just want to give a quick thanks to uh, Incredible Bank, Monster Energy, Adidas, DBX, Sunglasses, Black Clover, Gander Outdoors. Appreciate Gander and all those guys coming this year, being a part of this series. And, of course, the fans, uh, it's awesome to have Rowdy Nation support. We keep digging every week, keep trying to work hard, and keep trying to get wins.